Hi, and welcome back to Magic Vlogs. This is an update video about the love spell that I've been working on. But before I get into the complete update, I wanted to go over a few things. Um, first, I wanted to say the spell that I'm doing. It's uh, another Arabian Conjurer spell, but it's like a combination of two of her spells. And I've probably said this in the last video because this is kind of like my go-to spell that generally works for me. And I'll list it as usual in the comments section, or I'm sorry, in the um, description. And it's basically two of her spells put together in, in the video you'll see but what you're seeing here is like why I have my hand up is because in the spell you're supposed to put a picture of yourself around the penis and so my picture is there and you can totally see me so I have my hand there to block the picture and the red candle had been burnt down it was a red woman figure candle and it's been burnt down and then of course you see the skull candle and like I said the candle behind my hand is a penis candle here I'm just showing you the burn as usual or what I have been doing is what I call the three-day event the first night I get all the ingredients together, inscribe on the candles, put everything together, the herbs, the oils and everything like I'm getting ready to do a burn. But then I save it for the next night, then I do a burn. And then usually what I do is like a jar on the third night. And so on this one, I did another honey jar. And I'll list the ingredients that I used in the description box. On this honey jar, I burned a woman figure candle. And that's because I had this candle and the leg broke on it. And I thought, you know, why not just, you know, I was going to burn a red candle on the top of it. So, but why not just kind of repair the candle? Because I kind of repaired it with, um, with wax. So I thought, why not repair the candle and burn the woman figure candle on top of the honey jar? And so I did. And it's actually kind of like a good idea, maybe, if you, if you have one. And so I meditated until the candle burned down. And that's it. And I meditate with crystals. Here I have a rose quartz and just a clear quartz. The clear quartz is supposed to amplify. So I meditate with these two as shown here. And another thing that I wanted to talk about is my meditation process and techniques. And I've probably discussed this in other videos, but I don't quite remember everything that I've said. But a lot of it is heavily influenced by remote seduction and remote touch. And so I wanted to go back and maybe read some of these books and from some of these authors that influenced me many many years ago when I first started and I will list a few books down below that I think would help a lot of people and offer a lot of good techniques because I'm not really good at explaining things and one of them is from Lady Stevens and there's um, a lady that I used to I bought her CDs a long time ago and her name is Wendy Bronson, I don't remember probably butchering the last name, and I'll list her name below. So if you want to look her up, but I, I didn't. She just had CDs. She didn't have like books. But Lainey Stevens, and even Lainey Stevens has a channel on YouTube. And there's also another lady who has a remote seduction channel, and her channel's very good. I will list her. And there's another book 
that is very good that I read a lot of good techniques at least for um, remote seduction and it has a lot to do with telepathy and these things work and that this is what I really heavily do during my meditation but basically I just wanted to put this out there what I read a long time ago that helped me and it could probably help some other people maybe getting started or maybe people who are just looking for some really good techniques because I'm very bad at explaining things so but reading these books a long time ago really really helped me and you can download them on like the Amazon Kindle and they even offer I think it's like $9.99 a month but you can even do a month for free and these books like you can read them in 30 minutes each you know like there's actually like one chapter that is really important in my opinion but you can read the entire book in like 30 minutes for each of the books that I'm going to list below but I'll go over the techniques that I do one would be visualizing him standing before me in you know glowing bright yellow energy and him looking into my eyes and you know him touching me and you have to kind of really put a lot of energy in it and you kind of like maybe if you could think that you could smell him and then you could feel him touching you and you could feel the love of you looking into his eyes and you know just the whole feeling of it and I visualize that or and then I also visualize him you know just surrounded by the like maybe a, a yellow energy ball and one thing that I do heavily is I because I always do this when I think he's sleeping and so I visualize him laying in the bed asleep on his back and me standing before him this is a technique I've learned from not from one of the books that I've listed below but from another book but probably from the same author one of these authors but I visualize me standing above him and he's sleeping and there's the yellow you know the yellow glow of him sleeping and I'm standing above him giving him all kinds of good energy and then I and I think in my opinion this makes them dream of you as you I picture myself just going on top of him like blending myself with him while he's sleeping because my target has told me several times that he has dreamed of me so I do that technique um, and people are gonna say it's not somebody's gonna say it's not good to you know maybe blend your energy because you don't know what the other person's energy is like but yeah you know, I do it so I'm just letting you know what I do and I also think it's a good technique to wherever you last saw him the last place you saw him to remember that put that in your head and just give him really good bright yellow energy you know if you saw him sitting on a, a couch somewhere or in a, in a bar the last place you saw him remember that give him that just give him yellow bright energy and some other people may say orange I always use the bright yellow energy and um, you can also another thing that I do is I visualize something that hasn't happened but I give it energy to where I feel it happening you know and then all I always visualize him the bright energy and I feel it happening looking into his eyes and you know 
feeling it, really feeling it and really giving it a lot of energy from just a lot of energy from my chest and things like that. And the last thing I want to say again is there's one technique that always works for me. And you will see a lot of videos on YouTube explaining how to do it. And I've said it in another video. And it's the text message, to visualize a text message from him. And to me, it's the easiest thing that you can do. And you just, you, you visualize, you picture your phone, and you hear the ringtone like maybe you have a specific ringtone for him or you just have a ring you know a general ringtone or a text message tone and you hear it and you look at your phone this you're all doing this you're visualizing and you look at your phone and you see it's a message from him and then you feel the reaction that you would have like you see a text message saying I miss you and you feel that reaction and I do this multiple times every time I meditate and like to me that works and that's the easiest thing that you can do because you can come up with something you want to see you know as far as your text message that's like would be like a, a contact you know him contacting you from the past you know you haven't heard from him in two weeks or a month and you see this text message and you feel that and to me that is the most that's the most easiest thing to do but along with all of these other things this is what I do when I meditate and to me these things work let's go back to the texting really quick I just want to like clarify this technique or try to explain it a little better um so let's say you know you're just having a regular day you have your phone all of a sudden you hear this ringtone or this text tone you're not thinking anything of it unless it's a specific ringtone that you have for your person of interest but let's say for the sake of this it's just a regular ringtone that you have you hear it you don't think anything about it then you look at your phone and you see it's from your person of interest then you feel this rush of excitement and while you're visualizing this you have to give it a lot of energy you feel the excitement and the energy and you just give it all that you can during that point in time but before then it's regular it's just the regular you you're not feeling anything regular day then your phone rings or you know you hear the indication or the notification sorry hear the notification and then you look at your phone see it's from him you feel that energy excitement and then you visualize yourself reading what he wrote it could say or what he sent you he could say I love you I miss you let's go out or whatever but to me this is like this is the go-to technique to get things started to get things jumping and it works and there's plenty of videos on YouTube about it so I just wanted to try to clarify that and explain it a little better and but like I said look up other videos about it on YouTube something else I want to talk about is sometimes people do it once and they get discouraged and say oh it didn't work but I am a firm believer and that's why I kind of created this channel I am a firm believer that if you do things the right way you will see results and they say on average it takes about three months you know for these things to come about or just you know to actually have your spell work and whatnot but you know it could take longer could take less time but again I'm a firm believer that if you do things the right way you'll see results and I also believe that let's talk about free will 
So that's one thing that you see people talking about. Free will is only about that person choosing to act upon whatever it is that you're putting in their head. So like if you know, I'm coming to them and I'm giving them all kinds of loving energy. I know that they're going to feel that. They do feel that. But whether they choose to act upon that feeling is their free will. And I'm of the opinion that if you keep sending someone that sort of energy, they start to soften up to you. They start to, you know think about you when you're always, you know, trying to put a thought in their head, they're thinking about you and, you know, and so they start to have feelings maybe, you know, that's just my opinion about it. And some people are going to say, oh, that's wrong. But is it, you know, I'm not trying to kill the person. I'm just sending them good energy. I mean, at the end of the day, they still have free will, right? So what does it matter anyway? I'm also a huge believer in that whatever you can have your subconscious mind believe or trick your subconscious mind into believing, it will manifest for you in real life. So, you know, the trick is to getting into your subconscious mind. There's plenty of videos about that out there and I am definitely not an expert in it, but I'm sure you can look up a lot of videos on YouTube and Google to get a lot of information. It's all out there. And even if I decide not to continue down this road, meaning like doing spells for this specific target, I'm still going to continue doing love work and things like that. And let me tell you why. Because since I've been doing this for the past couple of months, four ex-boyfriends, well they're not all ex-boyfriends, but four guys from my past have contacted me. One is like a guy that I used to date when I was like a, a teenager, like 19. Um, another guy, and if you've watched a previous video, I talked about how I hired a spellcaster and um, how a friend of mine had hired her. And then one of the guys that I hired the spellcaster for had contacted me when my friend hired uh, hired her. This same guy contacted me again. So that was kind of odd because anyway, that's another that's another thing. That was odd. Another guy that I met, I never dated him, but we met and we had a lot of chemistry. He contacted me. And another guy that um, him and I like that's kind of like we have huge chemistry, kind of like soulmate chemistry. And he contacted me and we've actually been talking every day. Now, I like this guy. I like him a lot. But for many reasons, I don't think that's who I'm going to end up with. Um, there's a distance issue. He works a lot. It's just you know, but he's somebody that I knew many years ago. And ever since that, when we first met, we had a ton of chemistry. So anyway, long story short, my love life has exploded. And so I encourage anyone to everyone to do this, you know, if you're single or whatever, um, and I don't, during the spells, I don't say, you know, if it doesn't work for this person, bring me someone else, it's better. I don't do that. So it's just, it's just opened a lot of doors. And so I encourage anyone to do this. Oh, and one more guy I forgot to mention. I was in the grocery store and this guy approached me and he was like a very good looking guy and he approached me and 
gave me his phone number and I mean he's a little too young for me but that's another instance that happened you know since I've been doing this and it's been like I'm like it's been a while since somebody has approached me in the grocery store like that so I'm just encouraging everyone to do this if you're single I mean I think you know you're just increasing your vibration and that part of your life that you're focusing on it's just amplified so just putting that out there and now for the update so with my person of interest I decided like I'm not going to contact him and I didn't I just did my spell work and I was going to see how it was going or how it was going to go. And he contacted me. In fact, uh, we were texting as I was trying to do this video. And we're supposed to get together um, in about two days. He said that he missed me and he kept thinking about me and he couldn't get me off of his mind. All of those things so um, we are going to see how it goes and I will um, try to update as as often as I can it's pretty it's been pretty hard for me to update um, but yeah so that's pretty much the update and going forward I you know, have been stockpiling candles so I'm like what do I do do I like I said I still want to continue I'm gonna continue doing love work regardless but do I just do some vague spell or do I continue focusing on this one target I don't know so I will keep you updated as much as I can and we'll see what happens so thanks for watching and until the next video.